Okay, hi. So this is uh, one of the last bike check video I'll make. Uh, and I'm very happy because that's an old friend that you see there. This is actually the first Mielek I got uh, made for myself, uh, the first Mielek frame. So, um, but because there was a problem with the fork, uh, I haven't been riding that bike for like almost two years and now I fixed the fork and I put new tires, cleaned it and this is it. So yeah, as you can see, it has a very specific geometry, which is low profile and triple triangle. Uh, the triple triangle is uh, that part goes from here to there uh, with a continued uh, tube, all right? There's no, there's no cut, unlike other bikes I'll show in, in detail. And uh, so that was one of my first like serious uh, aluminum trike bike. Uh, with uh, quality components that I'm gonna uh, describe in a few seconds. And so I'm really happy about it. There's just a few things that would change, but almost nothing. So let's get into it. So uh, just like the other Miele, like this is an aluminum 7, uh, 7005 um, uh, quality. So it's super stiff and a bit heavy, but it's, it's all right because it's for a track bike you really want something stiff as stiff as possible. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is the crankset, the mythical Jura Ace. And to be honest, uh, this is probably my favorite crankset. You know, I've got others, Rotor, Rydea, um, and a few others. But this one is really just the best, I think, in my humble opinion. Um, it's a 170 mil uh, length. Um, and it has 50, 51 teeth chainring, which is the Rydea, the Lamy Flow. Um, it's really cool. Um, you can see right there, uh, Rydea Lamy Flow, 51 teeth, some sort of cuts. So I really like that combination because it was like a classic timeless uh, Jura Ace crankset, which is really an amazing stuff, amazing quality beautiful, pure, and uh, extremely stiff and smooth at the same time, uh, with a very recent um, modern uh, chain ring from Rydea. I think the combination was great. The other thing that you can see is another uh, classic and uh, amazing um, part is the chain, which is the famous Izumi uh, Super V toughness, uh, gold and black, and it's so reliable and it's so an amazing quality once again. I've been riding more than 22,000 kilometers with that chain hard, like honestly almost all the time hard, and it's still there. It's a little used, but not, not that much after 22,000 kilometers. This is amazing. And so that drivetrain there um, is still very silent, even after like all these years of abuse. Um, in, the, in the back, 13 teeth. I think it's a Dura Ace as well, with a Dura Ace um, a cog and everything, Dura Ace on that one. You can see the chain is still a bit dirty, but that's okay. Uh, now, let's have an, a closer look at the triple triangle. Um, so this is a Mielek, so you can, I, I was able to choose all the tubes I wanted. So as you can see, that one there is like rectangular, uh, kind of like the BMC. Uh, and this is so the triple triangle, you see it there. Of course, no holes for brakes because yeah, that's a truck bike. And so you can see the, the piece of art, which is a nicely done um, triple triangle. Okay, it's supposed to be stiffer. I don't know about that. It looks cool. Um, bottle cage, this time drilled into the frame. And so if you can have a look at the detail of the paint, which is kind of metallic, uh, kind of grainy, uh, and it really shines in, 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 in the light. And if you can hear it, it's, it's grainy, really is. It's not smooth. It's really grainy, like mineral. I love it. Uh, the other parts, uh, the NV seat post, 31.6, which matches uh, the NV stem and the NV computer mount. Uh, these are like the older, <laughs> kind of older models from like, I think it was 2016 or 17 now that, they, they, you know, they, they put the uh, black Envy logo on black carbon, but not on that one. So I think it looks 
cool like that. And so the idea on that bike was really to have um, matte, UD matte carbon parts. So the stem, the end, the stem, the end, the seat post, uh, the fork, which is a leader, but if you look closely, you can see that's a 12K12, but matte, so it goes perfectly with the rest. And the front wheel, um, UD matte 60 millimeters. This is actually a road, um, a road wheel, not a track wheel, because of the, uh, the, uh, how the, the spokes are made, all right? And you can even see the quick release here. So yeah, this is a road uh, wheel, that's fine. Uh, in the back, there's uh, the classic and a bit like almost now uh, outdated 88 millimeter rims, which is just uh, too much and to be honest, not, not the best thing you can get. But back then, a few years ago, everyone wanted like an 88, 90 millimeters uh, rear wheel uh, because it looked uh, and still looks honestly cool super cool and usually in, in the front you have like uh, um, five spokes wheel or tri spokes wheel or whatever uh, but I, I think it was really important not to have an 88 in the front because that looks just too much and, and doesn't go well with the rest of the bike I think it goes well on that one because 16 in the front 88 in the back is a good balance it's always I think cool to have a little bit more in the back but no, maybe not that much so yeah I will change the wheels I will put some 60 millimeters front and back to have something uh, a bit lighter and just a bit better looking uh, the last thing I put on that bike was actually the tires themselves which as you can see are GP 5028 you know I've put some 25 on my uh, screen and I love them so much that I wanted to put some 28 what's interesting is that because the rim is so thin and narrow as you can see here uh, the tires don't even look like 28s there's still so much space all right uh, looks like 25 but it is 28 uh, but it's, it's interesting because I think with uh, if I I'm going to get wider rims 60 and wider okay and so i think that the 28 will really just swell up a bit and it's going to look even better and be more comfortable so this is it i think oh yeah the this the saddle is physique arione once again this time it's the one with the open cut uh it's a bit large it's the large version all right um i love the uh the design the uh profile of that saddle so much a uh, few details um, this the bar ends which are aluminum CNC whatever blah blah, blah but they look really cool um, we've got the uh, um, what is oh, damn we've got a yeah lizard skin sorry lizard skin bar tape um, another part in uh, UD Mac Carbon is the, the toe stem the top stem uh, once again I've put couldn't help it the famous uh, brake lever so that's the third one I have and I've put it on three bikes because it's just the best uh, and for the third time as well uh, the BLB um, brake caliper which is CNC and looks great and does a great job so that's it and oh yeah to finish uh, the handlebar is 42 wide and again a shallow uh, compact drop which is my favorite shape extremely comfortable so that's basically the look of it. And so the size, I've told you about the size of the wheels and of the crankset, but the frame itself, you might have noticed that it's kind of big and fuck yeah it is. That's a 57 large and it's like almost two sizes too big for me, but I love it like that. It was at the beginning, I don't know why I wanted like big bikes. I thought it looked better and uh, so that's why I, I've, I've had that, that one made in size large, which is really too much for me, but when I'm riding it, for some reason I like it. I feel good on it, comfortable, and I can ride hard. I would probably be able to uh to have more watts if I was if it was one or two sizes down. But that's how it is and that's how I like it. I, I like it and I really do I uh, love that one. I'm really happy to have it back like some sort of a resurrection. So I'm gonna be riding it tonight. So that's it. Hope you've enjoyed the video. See you next time. It's almost over now because that's I think bike number eight. See ya.